Howdy gang. Tiger is back. Now let's try this whole video thing again. Tell you a big, big secret, but don't tell anyone else because it's a secret. It's just between you and me. I did do a whole video, or a couple of them actually, but due to camera issues, which I will gladly blame on the camera. They had nothing to do with operator er errors. None at all. I haven't been able to post them, and they really didn't come out the way I would have. Uh, I would have liked them to come out. So I'm gonna redo it all this time. And this time it'll be probably two different videos because I have so much stuff I can't get that all in one video. Plus I still have this issue with the camera. It turns itself off after, what is it, 23 minutes and 48 seconds? Or 24 minutes and 48 seconds? I checked everything on 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 the settings I checked online I cannot find an answer why it does that I cannot figure out what I have to set for this thing to not turn itself off after a certain amount of time so if you know anything about that please be my guest let me know in the comments below you know we do that on purpose because it rhymes let me know in the comments below just because it sounds so cool I keep on saying it <laughs> so now what do we have we have lots and lots of stuff and we need to get rid of lots of lots of stuff because the house is turning into a hoarding situation. So please help me. If you find anything on this video that you like, let me know. My email is tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com and there's no apostrophes in there. I know which is very, very, very grammatically incorrect because tigers should have an apostrophe. But to make it easy on everybody, I just use the plural. Since I'm big enough, I can probably get away as two tigers or ten. Yeah, um, let's not go to. <laughs> let's not start that discussion because then I'm not definitely not gonna make it in those 23 whatever minutes. What do we have? Well, we bought some wooden stuff. Well, we bought more wooden stuff, but some of it I want to show you right now. For instance, there is this beautiful, totally cool recipe holder for the kitchen. Now this is a vintage piece, but there's no recipes in here. It is completely blank inside. It does have the little cards with the, uh, you know, what it is, sauces, salads, or whatever, so you can put them in order. If you would like someone else's recipes, of course, I'm sorry, I have to apologize, there are none in here. I can probably find you some and send them with it, but I'm thinking that any one of you who have their own family recipes, especially when they come from grandma, that would be a perf perfect thing to use them for. And on top of it, it makes a perfect display piece for your kitchen. I mean, it is an absolutely beautiful piece. I mean, yeah, it's been out for a few years or so, so it looks a little dusty. I'm sure it can be probably cleaned up a little bit more, but it's just the, it just has such charm. I mean, I if I had room in my kitchen, I wouldn't mind putting it there, but I have no room in my kitchen because I have appliances. Way too many appliances. So that was that. Then I have this cool little mousy mouse for those of you who collect. Now, to me, it looks Eastern European. Whether or not it really is, I don't know. But it is a totally cute little, are we focusing? Yes. Cute little mousy. You know, it's, it is painted. It is not marked, but it does look hand painted. There's a couple of spots here where the red came off a little bit in the, in the flower there. And it's got a couple of just like a little scratch down there. But that doesn't take away from the beauty of this thing. Plus it's small enough. We can display it with your with your mouse collection or your little animal collection or your wooden collection or your gray collection or maybe Eastern European collection if it is Eastern European. And if you collect Eastern European, you would be able to know. And if you know, again, comment below. <laughs> hey, I'm getting good at this comment thing. I'm learning. And yes, thumbs up, please, please. And even if you want to give me a thumbs down, that's fine too. Just give me a thumb. Then YouTube thinks that I'm actually interacting or you're interacting and I'm, you know, I'm popular, which I, I haven't been in a long time. I'd like to be popular again.
Okay, next. I have no idea what she is. But again, she's cute. Little girl, little wooden thing. Goes with your mouse. Look. They even have similar colors. Gray and red. They go together great. That little girl has the toy mouse. On the back it says Carolyn. Now I don't know if Carolyn painted this or if it was handmade. It does nothing, nothing on there. No indication. The back is plain. But she's just too cute. What else did we have? Oh yeah, we had this little Thanksgiving girl. Now I know Thanksgiving is a long way down the road, but we all know how fast time flies. Especially when you're having fun. And we're having lots of fun. So this little girl kind of goes with the other girl almost. They both have the same feet. So maybe they're delight maybe they're related. And they're both grayish. So if you want all three of them in a set, you can have them. But if you don't, I will break them up. I know they will be sad. They will be crying, but they will get over it. Well, what I was going to what I was going to uh charge for these things would be six ninety nine a piece. And five ninety nine for the mouse because it's smaller. And then there's shipping. Not my fault, sorry, but yeah, they the USPS has this idea that they actually want us to pay money to take my stuff to your house. I don't know why, but you know. Actually, she's kind of blue. She's bluish, but she still goes with the gray. So $5.99 each, $4.99 for the mouse. What else do we have? Let's see. Oh yes, we're done with the wood. Now we got one more wooden item, which is a little salt and pepper shaker from, what's the name of the town again? Wildwood, New Jersey. Never heard of Wildwood, New Jersey. It's a cute little salt and pepper shaker set on a bench. I picked it up at that antique mall that I um, I, sh I showed in that video and I paid full price for them so I'm not gonna make any profit on these but I just I, whoops are we focusing they're just beautiful I really like let's see <clears throat> I really like the way they let's see if we can whoops <laughs> Yeah, let me throw it all away. Let me throw it all away. Yeah, here's the blooper of the day. Oh. So anyways, salt and pepper shakers with uh, cocks, roosters painted on. Uh, they're seen some wear and tear, so they're not, I mean, they're in good shape and the stoppers are both there. But they just have like, you know, the roosters are rubbed off a little bit and they're a little dusty again. They can be cleaned. So I'd probably charge $12.99 for the set, plus shipping. If you want it, let me know in the comments below. Oh, I can't, st I, I can't stop saying that. I know you're gonna turn this off just because you get annoyed at me saying this over and over again, but I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I just have to, cause it's so cute, it's so funny. Okay, and now we have porcelain, Nippon, Japanese made. That's a creamer and a sugar. They are beautiful, aren't they? And they are vintage. They have seen a little bit of uh, wear and tear, but not too much. They are not broken, they are not chipped, they are not cracked. It just looks like the gold is a little, has been touched. But it's not even disappeared, it's still there. So, these are... These are really nice. These I'm selling for $9.99 for the set. If you want them, you know the deal. And this is a little, I have no idea what this even is. Looks like a little Aladdin lamp. All you have to do is rub it and the ghost comes out and you can make your three wishes. It's shiny. I picked it up because it's shiny. And there's nothing on it. It is very plain. And on the back it says, what was her name again? Something with Mia. Oh, Mia made 1962. And I don't know if Mia was a maid in 1962 or if Mia made is her name. But she's, uh, this thing is about as old as I am. Huh. 
If nobody wants it, then I'll keep it for my own old, old folk collection. Because next year it'll hit the big six. Oh, no more fives. Thank goodness I still have fives in my, in my age. Then we have another homemade piece. This beautiful little kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. It is, again, I, you know, I am so disorganized. It looks very homemade. It is, it is in great shape though. Nothing is broken off. It's just a little bit on the heavy side, I don't know, but it's not that big, so it should go in a medium flat rate box with a padding and everything. Normally I would put it in a small, but this one, then I can pad it, then, I, then, then the, the pail, tail may break off. So this one, $5.99. Beautiful little kitty. White kitty. Actually looks like my Zoltan. My Zoltan is kind of cream colored. He has a little more cream color, so a little more gray, uh, brownish colors. And we have plenty of souvenir pieces. For instance, Wawatosa State Bank from Minnesota. Now this looks very vintage. This is perfect for your little, maybe, you know, maybe for your little candy dish or if you have a bunch of pills to take in the morning, you can put them in there before you take them. You know, or if you're on a diet and you only want very little candy. It's small, it's just got enough to where you don't gain any weight, but you get the flavor. And it's really nice. I have no idea how old it is, but you can tell it looks it looks very vintage, mid-century modern. And I don't I haven't measured it, but you can tell, you know. Yeah, the face test. <laughs> There's my thumbnail. <laughs> What else do we have? More souvenir pieces. Seattle. And I have several of these. Space Needle. The Look at that saucer. It's got the Kingdom, Long Gone, Space Needle, and all these kind of uh, really nice, nice, um, it's only on one side. On the, on the cup it's only on one side. Cup and saucer, made in Japan. The saucer is not for food consumption, but the cup does not say anything about not consuming coffee out of it or tea. So that should be good. I will let these go, through, go for $5.99. $5.99. Then I have another souvenir cup, and that one is from Germany. Rotenberg op der Tauber. Rotenburg ob der Tauber, in other words. Uh, I've never been to Rotenburg. It's a beautiful, quaint, old, old town and very, fam very, very popular. Let's look at that. And this is, of course, there we go, made in Germany, Winterling. Winterling is one of my favorite. Uh, do you say brands? or manufacturers, porcelain manufacturers, because they make some beautiful stuff. This one also goes for $5.99. Whoops, if I don't break it first. Then there's this old butterfly cup. Now this one, for all you butterfly collectors, this is the real thing. This is old, old, from the 1920s or 30s from what I researched. It is just beautiful. It's German as well, as far as I remember. There's the mark. Could we please zoom in on it? It's just a beautiful piece. This one a little more pricey. This one I have to charge $14.99 for because it's worth it. It's probably worth more. Actually, I've seen comps for a lot more than that. But I'll help you out. You'll help me out. We're friends. Yep. What else do we have? We have another 10 minutes or so left before this thing goes boom on me. So that's going to be my um, thing now. So we have more Seattle, of course, which I don't know if I, that's the same. No, it's actually different. This is a different kind of Seattle. Huh. It has a, it is a newer piece. 
it has Montrenier, it has the government locks, it got airport. So yeah, it's a newer piece than the other ones, but it's still shiny. It still has Seattle on one side only. There's one little spot up here where the, I don't know, just like the paint is kind of a little goofed. But it does not have any, any chips or cracks that I can feel or see. So yeah, Seattle is a beautiful place, especially Pike Place Market. Been there, done that, would like to go again. And then there's this little, little Holland. Well, it doesn't say Holland or the Netherlands on it. But it's a little shoe with a little windmill on it, which I'm sure means it's from the Netherlands or Holland or all of the above. It is, it is cute. This one, $4.99. It is definitely vintage. It is not marked. So I don't know who made it, why it's, where it came from, huh, who, and so on. Then I've got this totally awesome bottle. This one comes from Spain. It is leather. Leather leather bottle. It's got stuff written on in Spanish that I did not bother to try and translate at this point. It's got some beautiful artwork and you can tell it's you know it's made very well. The cork is there but it was broken off. So and I did not open it because once you do I can't close it anymore. So anyone who wants to buy this thing, nine dollars ninety nine cents. And then there has the stamp on the bottom where it says made in Spain. You can open it and do what, do what you want with it, but I cannot guarantee the smell inside. But it's got a little hole where the corkscrew was in there before. And if it was anything bad in there, I probably would have smelled it by now. I did not. Then I've got this little piece from Stargard and Pomerania. And this was made when Stargard was still German, which was before 1945. So this is a beautiful little, I don't know, would that be a bud vase? It is very small, you can tell. Very small. But it is very old. I mean, if it was from 1945, it survived the war. And to survive the war in what used to be in Pomerania, which is now Poland, yeah, there was a lot going on. So I'm really glad that I have this little piece. It is beautiful. This one I'll let go for $9.99 just because it is very rare and very old and very special. And then there's this funny piece. This is actually a cream whipper. This is from East Germany, from the GDR. It was made in Hungary originally for the uh, export to East Germany. It looks like it would still be usable. It needs the cartridge. I don't know if it needs any other pieces. It did not come with a box or anything. It is called Mixi. The brand is called Mixi, <laughs> which is really cute, really funny. So this Mixi piece, I will let go for $14.99. Again, it goes into your kitchen. If you just want to display mid-century modern type things in your kitchen for because it looks cool, if you have room for that. I would keep it myself, but again, my kitchen is full. But I do like the certain charm it has because it's from the communist world. Even though politically it's not a, not a world that I will support. It. Um, human rights and all that, but it's, it's just living history to me because it is still alive. It is here in America. And it made its way somehow from Hungary to East Germany over to the States. Who knows where else it's been? Maybe you'll have a little conversation with it. Maybe it'll tell you. So yeah, it's beautiful. And what else I have is this set of glasses. Now these are made in France, even though they kind of look Moroccan. And they have stickers, they are new. Now I don't know how old they are, but they're new as far as not used. And yeah, I, I really should pull out like a white sheet to hold up to help the camera focus. Now I have six of them, but I was thinking to, to uh, sell a set of four and a set of two, 
The issue only is that there are two, three different colors. There's two blue, two red, and two green. But these are for 24 karat gold. And I've seen them, I've seen them sold for around $50 for a set of four. So I'll sell them for $30 for a set of four and then another $15 for the other two. If you want all six of them, I can let them go for 40. Special deal, special YouTube deal. Send me an email, tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com. I will leave it at this for now. Oh no, wait, there is the one, the one piece, the special piece, the super duper special piece. This little Fenton vase. It's a bud vase. It is glowy as heck. It is very small, but it is the real deal and it is signed. Now I forgot the, the name of the artist. I did look it up. This person did work for Fenton. <laughs> so it is signed right up there. Uh, I can't really show it right now. It's not, it's not doing it. And I can't turn off the light, but look at the glow. Isn't it beautiful? Now this is another one of those pieces I paid up for. I paid full price at the antique mall because it was so special. I will let it go for $24.99 if you're interested. $24.99. Email me tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com. That's all for now. I will get this video ready to load up, to upload, to load, to do whatever it needs to do so you guys can enjoy it, can watch it and see all this cool stuff I brought for you. I hope you like it. You know the deal. Thumb, comment, like, dislike, whatever works for you. And let me know if you find any, any, uh, if you have any complaints even. Let me know if you have any criticism. I'm okay with that. I like to learn. So don't feel bad if you don't like my video. I don't blame you. I don't like my videos half the time. But we're working on it. We're improving. So yeah, I, I battled on long enough. And I gotta get ready for the next video because the next video has some real special things. Even better than these things. And oh. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And you all know the deal. You all keep it real. Boom.